Sawadee so, Kap, I'm JP Mistanza, and today is Wednesday, September 22nd. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. A Myanmar man is now behind bars over allegations that he raped a Thai woman that he had hired as a maid at his rented home on the east side of Phuket town. 42-year-old Nini Neng was arrested at his home off Sri Sutat Road in Rasadas Mu 7 area shortly after noon yesterday and taken to Phuket City Police Station for questioning. A 47-year-old Thai woman accused him in a well-known Facebook page and posted details about what allegedly took place on August 27th. She said that she arrived at his house to work as a maid and said he raped and beat her and held her captive throughout the night. She also accused the police of inaction in investigating her attacker after she reported the incident the next day. Yesterday, authorities arrived at her home to interview her and explained that a friend had told her that he had been looking for a cleaning lady. Throughout the night of her alleged captivity, she accused Nini Nang of also having placed a plastic bag over her head and threatened her with a knife. She said she escaped the house in the morning after he left for work and forgot to lock the door. She made it to a friend's house and together they went to the local police to report the ordeal. Police took a report and she said she was left to go to the hospital by herself. While Nini is said to be charged with rape, which carries a punishment of between 4 to 20 years in prison if found guilty, Phuket City Police also say that an investigation is underway. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thailand's reopening plan could be pushed back by a month from October 1st to November 1st, with officials concerned that all five areas they wanted to reopen for international tourists would not be able to vaccinate 70% of their population in time. The Tourism Authority of Thailand and the Tourism Ministry were leading the charge to adhere to the Prime Minister's target of reopening the country by about October, which he had set sometime in June. The plan was to reopen five tourist areas of Chiang Mai, Chomburi, Prachuap Kiri Khan, Pechaburi provinces and the city of Bangkok, either October 1st or the 15th to provide some economic relief, but on the condition that each area must inoculate 70% of its population. Citing the current vaccination rates in each of these provinces, the TAT is admitting that it may have to postpone the entire reopening for November 1st instead, especially as COVID cases nationwide continue to surpass 10,000 per day. Still, if you ask local officials in each province, the sentiment is slightly different. In Pattaya, which is in Chomburi province, the city mayor says they're on track to restart tourism on October 1st following the standards of the Phuket Sandbox, with similar requirements for vaccinated international arrivals there. Pattaya does have 70% of their population immunized as well and are seeing over 400 cases per day still. Chiang Mai, however, is said to be part of the 7 plus 7 sandbox extension program to receive tourists who've already spent the mandatory amount of days in Phuket. The northern province is also set to accept domestic tourists starting October 1st. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. Phuket officials confirmed 256 total COVID-19 infections on Tuesday, including two Phuket sandbox tourists. There are currently 4,146 people currently under medical care or supervision on the island. Phuket has also marked two more COVID deaths today, as the death toll for Phuket this month alone is 40, with 20 deaths in the past seven days on the island. Over the past month of September, Phuket has had 4,000 943 COVID-19 cases, and the island has recorded an average of just over 235 total COVID cases per day. These numbers include infections of tourists in the sandbox scheme. Meanwhile, Thailand logged just over 11,250 cases, along with 141 more fatalities during the last 24 hours. Since the pandemic started last year, Thailand has had 1.5 million COVID cases, the vast majority of which, 98%, have been reported since April. Phuket Extra we are back after this. For the best steaks and apple pie to die for, visit Harry's Restaurant and Hotel, Patong Beach. Look for us on Facebook and we look forward to seeing you here.
quality guaranteed since 2012. Call Edmund Painting today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thailand is now one step closer to ending the official state of emergency for the nation after the cabinet approved a draft amendment to the 2015 Communicable Disease Act, which is seen as the new mechanism to replace the emergency decree in Thailand's ongoing battle against COVID. Thailand has been under a state of emergency since March of 2020, which was continuously renewed to facilitate the government's outbreak containment efforts. But officials say they would allow the emergency decree to expire at the end of this month and will be replaced by the Communicable Disease Act of 2015, which needed to be amended and updated prior to being enacted. Still, Parliament has to approve the measure, and it's unclear if they will do so by the end of this month. Research by a leading cybersecurity firm has revealed that a database containing the personal information of 106 million international visitors to Thailand was left exposed online for a period of 10 years. This is part of a trend of lax cybersecurity in Thailand. Researchers from Comparatech, a British-based firm, say that an unsecured database was left exposed on the web without a password, and this contained international travel records, personal details from as far back as 2011 until now. This information includes travelers' names, passport number, visa type, residency status, and Thai arrival card number. The head of the cybersecurity research team at Comparatech surmises that any foreigner who traveled to Thailand in the last decade might have had their information exposed in the incident, and even admitted the database contained his own name and entries to Thailand. They learned about the unprotected status on August 20th and alerted authorities in Thailand who acknowledged it on August 23rd and secured the data. Thai authorities say the data was not accessed by any unauthorized parties. Still, this story is not new, as Thailand's cybersecurity measures have been in the news quite a bit lately after a series of high-profile cybercrimes in recent years, from ransomware attacks on Saraburi Hospital, data leakage from e-commerce operators, Bangkok Airways, CP Freshmart, and Krum Thai Bank as well. In fact, Earlier this month, the personal details of over 10,000 patients from Pechabun Hospital were stolen by a hacker, which officials tried to downplay but later had to admit did indeed take place. The public health ministry previously encountered ransomware attacks attempting to steal data for sale on the dark web. Thailand is currently ranked 44th out of 193 countries in the Global Cybersecurity Index 2020 a fall from 35th back in 2018 that gauges how countries commit to cybersecurity. Thailand does have a national cybersecurity committee chaired by the premier, with a large number of agencies taking part, but reports say they rarely meet up and they lack a sufficient budget and workforce to live up to its potential, according to General Bunjar Tieng Tong Di, a former member of the committee. Thanks for joining us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.